Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mr. Skittles, that's tuna with extra gravy because I know how you like your gravy. And Miss Kitty, I put a little bit of the salmon flavored dry kibble in there because I know you like to nibble your kibble. Hey there. 308 versus 300 Winchester Magnum. These bullets are just about the same weight, but one is going way faster. Can you guess which one? The 300 Win Mag is going about 500 feet per second faster, which gives it about 50% more energy than the 308. We just built a bed on Off the Ranch, go check it out. But we had a bunch of leftover wood. These are two inches thick, a bunch of boards. We're gonna see how many a 308 can make it through. This is my Armalite AR-10 chambered in 308. It's my new truck gun, and I have a new Primary Arms 1 to 8 by 24 scope on it. It's a Platinum Series, really nice scope. What's cool about it, this is gonna be really hard to show you, it has what's called a front focal plane. So here's what the scope looks like at 1x power. You can see that reticle is just a little circle with a dot in the middle. You can't really tell what the other stuff is, but a front focal plane scope, when you zoom in, the reticle gets bigger as well. So you zoom in, all the way up to eight power, and then you can see that you have holdovers for long distance shots at 8x, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna put a link to the scope in the description below, because I really like it, and Primary Arms is a big supporter of Demolition Ranch, and I sure do appreciate it. So let's see how many boards a 308 will make it through. look like all of them. Looks like we hit low on that first board and it just punched through everything. Kept going, kept going, kept going and then was just skimming down through the bottom these last ones. Yeah that still counts. It came and hit the table right here. Kept going. Oh here's actually the last one. There's our hit right there. I guess we need more wood. Same amount of two inch boards but I added some four by fours back here. Three different rows of them. There's no way a 308 is going to go through all those. But let's just double check. Nothing fell off the table, which is weird. So it did go through all of these. Totally impressed. We came in here, went through all of these. That's our hole right there, a tiny little hole going through. Then it came in that last one right there and came straight out the back, which is pretty nuts. I'm running out of wood, but I put one more set of four by fours in there. So I have four sets of four by fours, then I have all these two inch boards, and then I put three one by fours stacked, so I, if I hit up or down. So this should stop a 308, right? So far, very impressed. So do you think we stopped it this time? Bullet came in here, right in the middle. Went through, I can see it coming through here. Went through there, into the first 4x4. Four four. Oh, I can see it coming out of the second 4x4. Four four. Coming out of the third 4x4. Four four. It went into the very last 4x4. Four four. That is totally a hole. There's a hole where the other one was coming out. I started picking around in here. At least some of the bullet, definitely. Golly, that is insane. Went through that entire stack of wood. Just a regular 308, not an armor penetrating round or anything. This is not even what this video was supposed to be about, but now I'm so intrigued, I have to find out how much lumber does it take to stop a 308? I've stacked all these in a line now. So the four by fours are gonna have the best chance of stopping it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven four by fours, all of these two inch boards, and then these one inch boards. So my table is totally packed with wood from one end to the other. And I put my GoPro up here and it doesn't have a case because I lost it in the move. So I hope it survives if it falls. Hit, 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 
Oh, these are stuck together. Oh. <laughs> cool. It's hot. Wow, things not even going straight. So, the reason it stopped so quickly here was because all the boards are touching. Apparently that makes a pretty big difference because we didn't even get to our 4x4s. That's cool. Well now I guess I need to space out the boards and shoot it again. This will be way less fun to shoot it because I'll be having to lay in the dirt, but it should get the job done. One inches, two inches, four inches. A lot of wood. Let's see what happens. Screw laying in the dirt. This princess brought his camo blanket. It's going straight through all these nice little holes in the top of these boards. Then it starts getting a little wider. Then it turns sideways, and then it's going completely sideways through this one. Bust out the back here, and then I'm not really sure where it went, because it's definitely not in the wood anymore. This one has a lot of splatter around it, and I bet it went in butt first just because of the shape of that hole. But it definitely came out, and there's no sign of the bullet here. And then it did not hit this. Actually, it may have hit that a little bit, a little bit of a dent there. Um, but I have a feeling that a lot of it just kind of flew off everywhere because I don't see any sign of a bullet around here. So I think it went off and missed before hitting any of these 4x4s. Not having very much luck keeping it in line through all of this wood. It's kind of like everyday life. It's just hard to stay straight. You know what I'm saying, fellas? So I'm gonna try now shooting straight down this 4x4. That's what I wanna see. I think it will not make it all the way through. Entry hole, no exit. Oh, there is an exit, it curved out. <laughs> Dang it. All right, let's try it again. Set up a fresh four by four, and I put the other four by fours all around it, so I'm shooting at that middle one right there. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Holy cow, so it went straight into that little hole right there, went about two feet through this solid wood, and then kicked out the side and into these other boards. And that's just a 308. It's a huge bullet, but so much power. Definitely think a 308 is a perfect caliber for truck gun, because that has a lot of power, and I'm really liking the Primary Arms 1-8 to scope. I think it's gonna be just right for my truck gun. I'm gonna be a little hard to find on this channel for the next couple of weeks because we just moved into a new house and there's just so much stuff to do there that I'm not gonna have as much time as normal to come out here and make these videos. So it'll probably be two weeks that it's gonna be a little slow here and then I'll be back full force. But I am making vlogs and other videos on my other channel. I'll put a link right here. It's called Off The Ranch. Go check it out. It's brand new. I've been doing it for like two weeks and uh, it's already really exploded. You guys have come over there in force and everybody seems to like the videos. So thank you so much. I definitely am not going to be slowing down on Vet Ranch either. So if you don't know, I have a veterinary channel here where I rescue homeless dogs and cats. Just click that link and go check that out. I will be there. But until then, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.